welcome to its traffic in today's video we are going to study about chapter 7 functions in C here I have tried to compile the whole topic that included in the chapter in a short video I am explaining the main topic of the chapter so who are finding difficulty to understanding this chapter I think it might be helpful for you this video will be also available in ASMIS uh, that you can find in my It's Rafik It's Rafik channel. You can subscribe to that also. First, uh, let us know what is a function. A function in C is a block of code designed to perform a specific task. For example, suppose we are finding the area of a triangle. So in that program, what we'll do to that calculation part where we'll calculate the area of the triangle that we will do in some other part means we will take the input in the main function like a uh, height and base of the triangle and the calculation part we will do in separately that will be some another block so function help in organizing code making it modular and reusable I think you have understood this sentence modular means a uh, small small part I think uh, you already know about uh, blocks using blocks we can make some other thing similar way using some small small part of function we can add them together and we can make make a complex program or big program even when we create a function we can reuse it whenever we required why do we use function function break down a complex program into smaller pieces that means suppose we are making a software for ATM machine. In that machine there will be many type of tasks like uh, checking customers balance, withdrawing money, transferring money, verifying pin number, verifying account number etc. So in each task we can divide into some small small part like for withdrawing money another program for checking balance another part and we'll make them together and we'll make the complex software second point uh, once function is written it can be used multiple times like suppose I have written a program to find the area of a rectangle now the similar program can be used for other purposes also like to find the area of a square also just that parameter we can be it can be changed like uh, when we have similar type of problem for the at that moment we can reuse a function we no need to write the function again and again function improve the readability of the program now just assume you are reading a novel there is no paragraph no chapter nothing so where do you will stop it will be very difficult to read that's why the author divide their novel into chapters into paragraph into sentences so that uh, we can take a break even function make our program some small small parts so it will be easy for us to read the program third or oh, fourth one the function can easily find out bug and fix them now when we write a program definitely we may make some mistake now it will be easy to find a mistake from a small program than to find a mistake from a very large program when we will divide the program into small small part from there it will be very much easier to find out the mistakes and when we are creating function that a big program will be divided into small small part that small small part can be tested individually means testing part will be easier now when there will be some advantage there will be some disadvantages also so what will be the limitations variable declare inside the function can be accessed only or cannot be accessed only outside sorry outside the function that means if I declare a function uh, variable inside the main function for example I am declaring uh, length and breadth of a triangle directly it cannot be accessed from another function we have to pass through parameters then it can be but directly it cannot be accessed when a function call another function like especially when it is recursive means calling itself it become very complex to debugging if we get a problem that at that moment it very difficult to correct the program and when we are making a very large program complex program at that moment function is not suitable at that moment we have another type of software or programs that is object oriented that will 
learn in chapter 10. Now we will learn some terms which are related to the function. First return type. When we write a function, it must return us something. A function must return one value or zero value when we call the function. Sometimes our function might not return any value. At that moment it is called as void function. Then function name. As variable, function also should have a unique name. Function name should not be with a keyboard name like a void, int, break, continue. These are keywords. This name cannot be kept as a function name. Parameters, they are input for the function. Parameters are variable that are used in a function to accept values when the function is called. These values are also known as arguments. A function may have zero or more arguments or parameters. When a function do not have any parameter, it is called zero argument function. And one more term, global variable. Now we have learned in limitation that a variable declared inside a function cannot be accessed outside the function. So when we require a variable that should be accept, uh, accessed by all the functions, at that moment we can declare a variable outside all the functions. Then this variable is called as global variable. Parts of a function, a function have mainly three parts, declaration, definition and call. Declaration when we declare a function. As you can see here in blue part, this way we declare a function, int, this is the return type, sum, this is the name of the function, and int a, int b, these two are parameters. After declaring the function, we also have to write definition, means what exactly the function will do, that part we will have to write. There we will write, or means uh, actually function declaration, we write only the heading, and function definition, we write the body of the function, body means definitions. Here int sum that the declaration part exactly same we will write and inside the bracket we will write what exactly it will do. Here we are adding the number so we are just writing a plus b and we are returning it. Return a plus b means this function is returning whatever value a and b contain that value. Let assume that a is 10, b is 20 then it will return 30 to the caller function. Function call. When we declare a function, we also have to call. If we do not call, then the function will do nothing. So here, normally we will call the function inside the main function. You can see in second line, we are writing int result, a variable that is result. And after that, we call the function sum. When we call function, we don't write the return type. We write only the name of the function. And in bracket, we are directly passing the parameters. We pass two numbers. Now these two number will go to the definition and in definition these two number will be added. Again it will return back to the main function and this value which is 30, 30 will be added inside the variable result. And by printf we displayed the value. So this way we can write a function. A type of function we get mainly two kind library and user defined. Library function, these are already defined inside the header file of C. These are already defined, just we have to call their name and we can use their functionality. User defined, these functions are created by the programmer and also definition is written by the programmer only. There we can give any kind of name, but uh, we have to remember that the name should not be in keyword list. The name should be unique because it's distinguished from each other. Suppose we already have a main function, again we cannot create a function with the name main. It should be some other. Caller and callee, this is also important. Now in C programming, the term caller and callee refer to relationship between two functions. Means when two functions are communicating between themselves, then it one will be caller, another one will be callee. First caller function, the caller function is the function that initiate the call to another function. It passes control to the callee function and may pass argument to it. Like we are adding two numbers. Here is the example. We are adding two numbers A and B. So here inside the main function we are calling a function result uh, add and passing 5 and 3. 
so this function will call as uh, it is caller function because i am calling someone or i am giving the access to other program to do something call if function the call if function is the function that call by caller function it receive control from the caller means it get access from the caller it do some tasks after that that access will be again returned back to the caller means call will get the power from caller it will do the work whatever asked again the power will given back to the caller okay this is the example sometime in exam comes explain caller and call with example you can write this example it is also also added in your book you can see that one also recursive function this is also important part in your program or uh, in your for your exam purpose when a function call itself to do some work it is called as recursive function and remember we can't use recursive function to solve all kind of problem we normally use recursive function when we have to solve some similar kind of problem at that moment we use recursive function like we can use it for find uh, mathematical calculations such as fibonacci series and strong numbers counting powers etc it can be used in data structure problem like binary search and stack link this kind of problems also it can combine some sub problems and give one as single solution so these are some uses of recursive function here come what is recursive function explain uh, why do we use it you can write the uses of it that will be done for it now some important questions which you have to see for exam purpose what is a function why do we use it i have already given in first few slides you can go through them what are the different part of function it's function declaration definition and call caller and callee different type of function recursive function global variable syntax to declare a function syntax of recursive function local variable and global variable here local variable means the variable which we declared inside a function and global variable that are declared outside any other function and when a function is void when it does not return anything parameters these are the input for the function zero argument when the function have zero parameters so these are some common questions now let us uh, do one simple program to add two numbers you will know that then better will open code block so code block must be installed in your computer to do that this code block it will take little time depending on your computer's processor speed so this opened now we have to take a new file we'll take empty file here at first we'll write the header file like include before that we also have to change the language by default it come as plain text we have to select as c c++ now we'll add the header file include and it is stdio.h after that we'll declare the function let us uh, the return type of the function is int and the function is add and two parameters int a and int a and int b as we are not defining the function here so we can give semicolon now we will write the main function int main here inside the main function we can have a variable result and next line we can again write result equal here we'll call the function that is add and in bracket we'll pass two parameters we can pass 
either variable or directly the number as we are adding integers so we can directly pass two integers like four and three now we'll display the result so printf here we'll write sum equal percent is d and the value is result semicolon and return 0 because main function is returning nothing that's why we are giving return 0 now the main function will call as caller function and here I am calling the callee and this add as the main function is calling add so the add function will known as callee function now as I have not defining what add function have to do so we'll have to write the definition also definition we can write it here int add and int a int b inside the definition we can write return a plus b then now let us save the program we can give program as fun now we'll debug the program we'll click on build and run so here comes the output is 7 so this way you can write a function to add two numbers using function we'll discuss some other program related to function in next video i hope you have understood the topic you have understood the topic so Thank you for watching, see you in a new video, till then take care and bye.